Is this thing on? What up noobs? So today I'm gonna show you five classes that you can use to become a search and destroy god. So basically this is five alternative classes that you can use to the main meta and you can still compete against the main weapons. I'll just let the clips be for themselves. Let's go. First things first, we have the Sten. Now before you leave, you might be thinking this guy is cracked out of mind. He hasn't got a clue what he's talking about. But trust me, there's one little attachment in here which makes all the difference. So you see right here, the Hawkinson 248 millimeter burst barrel. With every burst rifle, there is a potential to one burst people if you hit them high enough in the right area. Unfortunately, Vital isn't available for this gun because that would be actually amazing. And you probably would one burst people most of the time if you had Vital available. Yeah, the fire rate is a little bit slow, um, but if you are somebody who can aim your shots quite well, then I would definitely, definitely recommend using this so I did play around with all the attachments and I found that this one felt the most balanced. You know, it's very controllable, very mobile. And yeah, honestly, just try it out. It's a lot of fun. No. So I have spoken about this exact setup before in previous videos, but if I want to make alternative classes, the Volk is literally the definition of an alternative class. You ever wonder what would happen if an assault rifle and an SMG were to have a baby? This bad boy is it right here. So the Krausnik barrel um, gives you the extra damage range and it makes it highly accurate and controllable from distance slows down the sprint to fire speed a little bit and the hip fire accuracy you add the sa converted stock to add a little bit more um mobility and voila you have the love child of an smg and an aor Here, boy. So right here we have the definition of spray and pray. It doesn't quite have the damage to kill people in two bullets, but the fire rate is pretty good and the 250 round magazine means that if you're playing search and destroy, um, especially 6v6, you most likely will not have to reload. Ever. Like 250 rounds with you know three to four bullet kills is yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Yeah, it is an LMG, so there's not really loads I can really say about it. Everybody knows what LMGs are. Slow and steady. Just spray and hope for the best. Make the objective. It's all riding on this. Bring your best or go home. The bomb is out. Where the hell am I still alive? Alright, next up we have probably one of the guns that I see the least actually. Um, at least compared to like other assault rifles and SMGs. I know people don't really use the marksman rifles very often, but you know what I mean. This has been nerfed a little bit and I did use a similar setup towards the start of the game when I was kind of grinding diamond camo. If you want like pure accuracy, then I would say this is probably the best setup for you. Yeah, the orb weaver barrel, the LO ore stuck and the third round mags lengthened. It's just insane. You can really, really beam people with this. Okay, I saw that guy MB. I just noticed a guy up here as well. That was pretty disgusting. And lastly, we have my little friend, Owen. This gun looks weird as fuck to me. It's pretty solid. Um, I think it's actually quite underrated as an SMG. It's probably the least used one actually out of all of them. Um, I think you do need to have the um, the Kurtz uh, magazine because it adds the extra damage to make it really strong. It does tend to recoil a lot, so I prefer to have the precision barrel and the Gawain, Gawain, whatever you pronounce it, just for the um, extra recoil control. Oh. 
Well, I was done for there. Congratulations, it's official. You no longer have to use the meta guns. And uh, yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, if there is any gun that you want me to cover, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and cover it in my next one. Or I will try to have a gameplay with it where I try to yeah get a high kill gameplay in Search and Destroy using that gun. One final tip, as the great Donner once said, if you want to learn from the best, you must subscribe to the best. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.